Hi, I'm Brianna. And I'm Akira. And you're watching Dante's, Dante's Boxing Nation. <laughs> Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? Well, I'll tell you. It looks like the truth, Errol Spence continues to close in on all of the top welterweights because it was just reported today that the WBC has just ordered Errol Spence versus the Desert Storm, Tim Bradley. Now, what's interesting about this development is Errol Spence is already the number one contender or the number one mandatory, I should say, for Kell Brook's title, right? Now, if he's in position to fight for the number one mandatory position for the WBC title, which is Danny Garcia's belt, that means Errol Spence is going to be in position to not only fight for the IBF title, but to also fight the winner of Danny Garcia versus Keith Thurman. And that's what I mean when I say he's closing in on these welterweights. Now, if you guys notice, even though this news is mainly about Tim Bradley and Errol Spence, you notice I'm not really talking a lot about Tim Bradley. And that's simply because I don't think Tim Bradley would ever take a fight going up against Errol Spence. I don't see Tim Bradley having any interest in a fight like that. Right now, Errol Spence is a terminator. He's destroying everyone that gets in the ring with him. And I just don't see Tim Bradley being interested in taking on an opponent like Errol Spence. So with that being said, there's no way Errol Spence versus Tim Bradley is going to happen. But the good news for Errol Spence is I truly believe someone eventually is going to have to get in the ring with Errol Spence so that he can solidify that number one spot for the WBC title just like he did for the IBF title. Now, another question is, what happens with Carol Brook? Because now Carol Brook is trying to fight Amir Khan, and I don't think that Errol Spence should let Carol Brook off the hook. Team Spence, they should force Carol Brook to either give up the belt or fight his mandatory. We already know before Errol Spence became Kell Brook's mandatory. Kell Brook, he would be quick to fight against his mandatories when they were nobodies, right? Now that he's now that he has a real mandatory, now he has no interest in taking the fight. You know, for some of the fans who defended Kell Brook for ducking Errol Spence and not taking on his mandatory. I want to make it very clear for the fans who made excuses and they said stuff like, oh, Kell Brook, he just wants to make money. He just wants to get a big fight and, you know, he's not going to make a whole lot of money against Errol Spence. What you guys don't understand is there's a reason why they call it a mandatory because it doesn't matter how much money you're going to make. You are mandated and obligated to take the challenge. You don't have any options. That's like a judge telling you that you have to turn yourself in to jail or turn yourself into prison. You can't say, well, how much money are you gonna pay me if I turn myself in? No, you don't have any options. So that's the situation that Kell Brook is in right now. So, you know, I really hope that they stop playing games and they stop allowing Kell Brook to hold this IBF belt hostage. They either take the belt from him or they force him to fight his mandatory Errol Spence. But in the meantime, like I told you guys, um, you know, as great as an Errol Spence versus Tim Bradley fight would be, it ain't gonna happen. It ain't gonna happen. There's no way Tim Bradley is getting in the ring with the truth, Errol Spence. I just hope, you know, that um, eventually someone else gets in the ring. Now, I know Felix Diaz, who says that he's willing to campaign at 140, or he really, he campaigns at 140 and 147. 
We know that Felix Diaz, he had called out Terrence Crawford and, Car and Terrence Crawford's people, you know, they passed on that fight and ended up fighting John Molina instead. Now, as dangerous as Felix Diaz is, a fighter who just destroyed another undefeated prospect, Sammy Vasquez, I think Felix Diaz versus Errol Spence would be a great matchup as well if Errol Spence wasn't able to get Kell Brook in the ring next. So let's just say hypothetically, if Tim Bradley were to turn down that offer of fighting uh, Errol Spence next, I could easily see an Errol Spence versus Felix Diaz fight coming to fruition. I, I don't believe that Felix Diaz would turn down a fight if he was offered the fight. But of course, he has to be ranked, you know, with the WBC. I don't know where he's ranked when it comes to the um, WBC rankings. And then you have another fighter who basically turned down a shot at Errol Spence, and that was the undefeated prospect, Konstantin Panamarev, who's trained by Abel Sanchez. And I even have the interview. Abel Sanchez, he told me directly that he didn't want that fight with Errol Spence. He had praised Errol Spence on numerous occasions before, and he basically admitted that he didn't think his fighter was ready for Errol Spence. So when we talk about a fighter that no one wants to face, Errol Spence is really that type of fighter, okay? But the good news is Errol Spence is slowly putting himself in a position to where some of the biggest names are going to be forced to take that challenge and face the truth, Errol Spence. The winner of Danny Garcia, Keith Thurman, two fighters who both said that they didn't want to fight Errol Spence. Like I said, if Errol Spence becomes the WBC mandatory, they're going to be out of excuses. It's just that simple. And I truly believe when it comes to Keith Thurman, you know, Keith Thurman, he probably would be willing to get in the ring with Errol Spence before anyone else. I truly believe that. So, but we'll see what happens. We'll, we'll definitely see what happens. And we'll see what's next for Tim Bradley. You know, um, it'll, be, it'll be really interesting if Tim Bradley were to turn down this offer, which I believe he will, to see who he's going to fight next. Because they're giving Tim Bradley a road to another title. So if you're going to turn down a title shot or an eliminator bout to a title shot, who are you going to face next? We'll see. We'll definitely see. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. This is Bobby, and you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation.